Hello, welcome to the last topic of the section, understanding of V-Spare fault tolerance, which is also known as V-Spare FT. In this video, you are going to take a look at what is V-Spare fault tolerance, components of V-Spare fault tolerance, use cases, requirement for configuring it, maximum resources supported by the fault tolerance. V-Spare fault tolerance, what is that? It is a feature of VMA V-Spare which provides high availability for your virtual machines. There is no downtime, no data loss, no loss of TCP connections, and it achieves 100% uptime for your virtual machines. So you have ESXi host 01 and ESXi host 02. On ESXi host 01, you have virtual machine one running. When you are using vSphere fault tolerance, the virtual machine 01 will have another copy of the same machine running in the ESXi host 02 and that virtual machine run as a secondary server. So you have a primary machine and a secondary machine. In case any kind of host failure, primary machine will go down and secondary will remain work. So there is no downtime and no loss of your data. vSphere FT versus vSphere HA. There might be question that why should we use vSphere FT when we are already using vSphere HA? So if you are using vSphere HA, there is a slight downtime. When any ESXi host goes down, there will be restart of virtual machine. So there will be 99.99% uptime. But if you are using fault tolerance, the virtual machine primary will go down and secondary will remain work with the same functionality and there is a 100% uptime. Use cases for fault tolerance. It required when we required 100% uptime for any application and it also uses when applications does not support native clustering and cases where high availability might be provided through custom clustering solutions which are too complicated to configure and maintain. FT core components. So we have two components, one is primary VM, second is secondary VM. Primary VM will keep the original data, where secondary VM will also keep the same data and will be used in case of host failure. FT requirement. If you are using FT, CPU must be compatible with the vMotion feature. And CPU that supports MMU virtualization are required for using the FT feature in your environment and it uses a 10 GB logging network for the fault tolerance. And you required vSphere HA cluster in your environment and host must be licensed. And if your virtual machine is attached with few devices such as CD-ROM or floppy drives, then the FT will not be supported during that time. And you cannot enable FT on that particular virtual machine. FT maximums. So if you are using fault tolerance feature, there are some limitations such as your virtual machine should not have more than 16 virtual disk and disk size should not be more than 2 TB and CPU maximum should be 8 per virtual machine and there should not be more than 128 GB of memory on a virtual machine and per ESXi host, you can enable only 4 FT virtual machines. So if you are using or enabling FT on a virtual machine, it supports virtual machines configured with up to 8 vCPU and 128 GB of memory. And vSphere standard enterprise licenses allows up to 2 virtual CPUs. And if you are using vSphere enterprise plus licenses, then it allows 8 virtual CPU per virtual machine in FT. It supports 4 fault tolerance virtual machine per ESXi host. In ESXi host 01, if you want to enable FT, you can enable only four virtual machines. Create secondary copy of all data. So you have ESXi host 01 and ESXi host 02. You have virtual machine which is running on the ESXi 01, which will run as a primary virtual machine and it will create the same copy of the data in a ESXi 02 as a secondary virtual machine. It provides fast checkpoint copying to key primary and secondary CPU synchronized. Other characteristics. It supports vSphere vMotion migration for primary and secondary virtual machines. 
It supports multiple virtual desk format such as thin provisioning, thick provisioning lazy zero and thick provisioning eager zero. It can only be used with a VSPA DRS when enhanced vMotion compatibility is enabled. And it also supports interoperability with the vSAN. So that's all about the section. In this section, we covered about the high availability features such as vSPA HA, vMotion, storage vMotion and vSPA fault tolerance. In next section, we are going to cover advanced features such as vSPA DRS, update manager, vSPA replication and data production. Thank you. Stay connected.